Here we are with Mushu Kotense episode 3. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. We will see, right? <laughs> if this is the point where it really starts. The panties. A morning ritual with us with the panties. <laughs> the father's pretty much the same. <laughs> Dude, the dad and him are so like, right? all about girls nice OST Is this an opening? Is it in the episode? I mean, like, visually, this anime is so good. It looks so stunning. But I think that's also part, partly because I think for this anime specifically, they opened a studio to produce it. And they don't do any, they don't do any other animes. I mean, they have one right now in production, I think, that comes out next year somewhere, I think. But otherwise, they just make Mushoku Tensei, season one and now season two, that comes out next year too. But otherwise, they don't do anything else. So they mainly come focus just on Mushoku Tensei. I guess this was the opening. <clears throat> Demon. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> uh, where are you looking? <laughs> I like it. He stands up for someone else and goes against bullying, right? <clears throat> Which is interesting, instead of like being, having like bad memories because of bullying and maybe being afraid of it, that he could get bullied in this situation, he goes against it still.
Dude, he can heat it up too? Dude, that's handy. Yeah, she said that. Does he have a gem? No. <laughs> and he can make wind too. <laughs> of course, everyone wants elves in the Isekai world. I mean, it's basically like in real life when you get bullied, right? When you don't look different than any other person and people treat you bad for some reasons. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Just thinking about the one thing. Self. Then it turns out it's not a boy, it's a girl <laughs> that looks a bit like a boy. So he can't use magic right now. He doesn't seem to know much, right? Makes me wonder if magic is like common knowledge in this world, which would make it weird that he doesn't know about it, about incantations and all that stuff. Or if magic is not common knowledge. <clears throat> Self is late. Oh, because of that. Well, he didn't punch him. You're not even listening. Ho ho ho. Wow. I mean, he's not wrong. Now he wants to know.
I mean, it's harsh, but it's kind of true, right? I guess he would, right? Some hints of backstory. <laughs> of course. Womanizer. So it works the same for him too? The more you use it, the more you get? Oh, that's how he did it. Interesting, the combination. <clears throat> I guess that's not that easy. Is it? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we don't know if someone else can do it too, right? Or if Rudy is the only one that can do it. Just do it like you would do with incantations, just without in incantation. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did it. Okay, so it's <clears throat> so either Sylph is also special or it's something that everyone can technically learn. I mean, we don't know if maybe Sylph is special and that that's why he can increase his mana too by using magic, right? Which is interesting if he would also be special. Air color? No, she doesn't mention it. <clears throat> and now it turns out it's a girl. It's a girl, right? <laughs>
Yeah, just that Sylph has no dick at all. Yep. <laughs> of course. Called it. <laughs> I thought he was a boy. <laughs> Does he know her? That he knows her name? Yeah, pretty much. I don't get it. Why? I might be dumber too. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess maybe because he didn't realize that it was a girl. Oh. Mm hmm You will feel bad and apologize. <laughs> Already here. Time for action. <laughs> That's more creepy. Gambore, you can do it. <laughs>
Yep. <laughs> uh. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, um, a calmer episode, right? Uh, not crazy action going on, really, like in the last two episodes. When in the first episode he blew away the whole uh, wall of the house, and in the second episode we got the sacred magic. Um, so yeah, more like a calm episode in that regard. <coughs> and when it comes to the end, I don't really understand why uh, Paul said that Rudy might be dumber than he thought. Is it because... Was it because Rudy didn't realize that Sylphie herself was a girl from the get-go? Or was it because of what he said? That he said, I didn't, that he literally said to her, I didn't know that you were a girl. I thought you were a boy. Um, because I feel like that's something I guess she didn't want to hear because... I would assume because because when he said that, Sylphie assumed like, oh, he just treated me this way because he thought I was a guy, right? I was a boy, um, so he might treat me differently now that he knows that I'm a girl. <clears throat> um, so maybe because of that, I guess, I would assume maybe. And so, yeah, I mean, we got more somewhat answers and... Still more, more questions or still the same questions right we know now that Rudy is not the only one that can get more ma magic or mana by using spells every day and just like basically get better at it right by using it daily um, Sylvie can also increase her mana by using magic every day <clears throat> and it's interesting there was another six month um, six month time skip right very interesting that we have just a six month time skip just like that um, and we learned that Rudy is not the only one that can use magic without incantation Sylph could do it too but the questions are is that because Sylph is maybe another special case just like Rudy and it's not something normal in this world Or is it someone uh, something that literally everyone can learn? <clears throat> I mean, if it would be something that everyone can learn, right? I would assume Roxy could do it, right? Because she tried it and she couldn't do it. And she is sacred tier mage, right? Water mage. While Sylph didn't even know magic from what it seems like she didn't didn't know what incantations mean i i i guess because she was like incantations question mark um which makes me like i said which makes me wonder if magic is like a common knowledge in this world or not um i would assume that magic is somewhat common knowledge but i mean Sylph didn't know about it so Maybe it's like common knowledge if you live at the right parts in the world, right? Maybe she lives more like in this village here, quiet life, not many people around, that probably probably no one really around that can use magic, right? So if you have no one around that can use magic and that talks about magic, then no one talks about magic and then you don't learn about it, right? So I guess it might not be completely common knowledge that everyone knows, but I guess depends where you live and you might then know about it because people use it or not um, <clears throat> and so yeah Otherwise, uh, uh, on the other side um, like I said in the episode I think it was very interesting that he really does like start over from this point out uh, from this point I would say because instead of like being afraid of the bullies right because of bad, bad experiences from his real life um, he went after the bullies, right? He went in, 
and protect itself from the bullies instead of like being afraid i imagine that maybe he would have like some ptsd right they sees the bullies and it's like hesitating should i go in should i not go in um because if i go in then the bullies go against me and then i'm getting bullied again bad um, and because he is traumatized from it right but yeah guess not right he just went in protected itself from the bullies now the bullies are after him but he just deals with them by himself um so yeah definitely progress in that regard right and then the whole scene with his father very <coughs> very interesting early earlier that day the father told the, the father told him like here protect right you use your power to protect the people not to fight etc right you use, use your power for the right thing basically and then later that day when he did that the father didn't even listen to him and just like and bitch slaps him and has already like a made up mind just because of what one person or two persons said um without hearing the side of rudy right so that was interesting that it was just like no excuses right he thought based on what he saw and what he was what he was told he already had his mind up uh, mind made up and thought okay whatever he will say it's an excuse if he doesn't apologize it's an excuse and so he didn't let him talk <clears throat> and oh boy how rudy backlash right <laughs> the whole thing with okay yeah okay then the next time i see someone getting bullied i won't ignore it i won't help the person that gets bullied i will join them and join the bullies and help bullying right and that's how our family will be known that was brutal <laughs> but i mean that's where it comes in handy that he has a mindset of like a 35 a 34 35 year old right um which is basically quite a bit older than his dad which was like early 20s i think right so yeah <clears throat> which is interesting because i think we've never really seen something like this at least from my perspective I think I've never seen something like this in an isekai where someone really makes use of his knowledge. I mean, we have situations like um, Slime, right? Rimuru knows like architecture because of his job and because of that he knows how to build stuff, right? And in some other isekais they also have like knowledge from the real world, but I mean like based on like age and the knowledge you get from age that you use like your words in a way like Rudy did in this episode right which I feel like is not really happening in many isekais but I feel like even if it would happen it wouldn't be so impactful because in other isekais the person is basically his normal age right so if you die as like a 30 year old you are a 30 year old or in slime you are a slime right <clears throat> but here in this world he is literally a little kid and so you don't expect a little kid to talk like that right and backlash like that um which i feel like makes it more impactful that he can talk like that and backlashes like that at his father that won't listen to him right so yeah that scene was very interesting and like i said i'm i'm surprised that the father was basically like no excuses because so far he was always like very caring for him right always nice and everything but here he was clearly pissed so yeah and i mean again again we have this thing where they said okay he never cries right and the father bitch slapped him and nothing 
He wasn't shocked. He wasn't crying. No tear. Nothing. He just stood up and normally talked. <laughs> that was pretty badass. <laughs> I have to say. So, but, but, but yeah, I, I, I get... I get somewhat both sides, right? I mean, the father saw the kid being having like a bruise over his eye and all that stuff, and the mother is complaining. So I guess you just assume that Rudy did something bad because he has the potential of magic and everything. He is, he knows that he is very strong and everything that he could do it. Um, but yeah, not listening to Rudy and not letting him explain stuff is bad. He should have at least listened to him to hear what he has to say. And then he could say no excuses if it sounds like an excuse, right? Um, but from Rudy's side, I can't see why he backlashed like that, right? But like I said, it was very brutal and you could see that Paul was not happy about it, right? He was kind of mad a bit, but I guess he also knew that... Rudy is somewhat right, right? Um, because he didn't listen to everything. What Rudy has to say and all that stuff. And when he said, like, hey, if I would have told him to leave, he would have done it. I guess so. I guess he would have done it. He would be like, okay, you want me to leave? I'm I'm going, bye. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting episode. I can't wait to see what happens next. If we see more of Sylph and all that stuff I, I i i wonder how long it will take until we leave this place and what happens to get us to the point that we leave this place right and venture the world right because that will happen at some point i'm just interested to see when it happens and what happens to cause that so yeah Will be interesting. Can't wait for more like the episode. Calm episode, but still very interesting. Lots of interesting details on this episode. And good moments. And again, we could see here in this episode, like, when Rudy thought he was right. When he stopped the bullies and his father uh, his father was complaining about him, right? Um, he talked normally. He just stood his ground. Backlash at his father with the words basically and said he wouldn't apologize right but later when the thing happened with Sylph completely different because he knew he did something wrong and he felt bad about it he was very quiet and said the whole time I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry and it's like really like the difference between moments when he knows he is right and he doesn't feel bad about it and moments when he knows Oh, I fucked up and I feel bad about it, right? So that was also a very nice contrast, I would say. But yeah, that's the episode, I would say. So if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.